Today on Rift Spirits and Gear, I show you the all new Rectifier Badlander 100 amp from Mesa Boogie. There are few amplifiers I love more than the original Mesa Boogie dual rectifier amplifiers. I have an extremely early Revision D right behind me, and above that, I also have a Revision F. I love these amplifiers, and over the years, I've probably owned in total about two dozen various models and iterations of the rectifier amp. Mesa Boogie typically refreshed the amplifier line roughly about every 10 years, and that time is upon us once again. I am super stoked to show you the Rectifier Badlander 100 from Mesa Boogie. Now, before we go any further, this is not a sponsored video. However, Mesa Boogie have loaned me this Badlander 100 just to show you guys all of the sounds that reside within it. And I will also be leaving timestamps down below in the description if you wanna skip ahead to a specific section or sound bite. Now first, let's start by zooming out a little bit and let me tell you what this amplifier is. This is a 100 watt amplifier that is two channels, just like the original two channel dual rectifiers. It's kind of going back to kind of that old layout that everyone loves and is comfortable with. However, both of the channels on this amplifier are the same. And taking the channel cloning that the original amplifier introduced to another level, either one of these channels can be whatever you want them to be. So if you want two clean channels, you can do it. If you want two, want two orange vintage channels, you can do that. If you want an orange and a red, et cetera, et cetera. You can make this amplifier sound however you want it to sound. Now, before we go any further, let's just go ahead and start at the top and work our way back down in tones. So we are going to start with a super modern metal tone. I will be using my Music Man Stingray RS with Fishman Keith Merrill pickups. I will be boosting the amplifier with an Ibanez TS-808 reissue overdrive into the front of the Badlander 100. And I will be going into an orange 212 cabinet loaded with Celestion Vintage 30s, and I will be micing the cabinet with an Earthworks SR25 condenser microphone and a Shure 545 SD. It's like basically a vintage SM57. And what you're hearing is what the amplifier is producing. There will be no processing on the guitars of any kind, with the exception of a standard high pass and low pass filter, but that is it. You are not hearing any processing on these guitars that you are about to hear in this mix. So let's get to it. Now those with the eagle eyes will also notice that this is, does not say dual rectifier Badlander 100. This is simply a rectifier Badlander 100. Mesa Boogie have done away with the tube rectification of the new amps. There is no more 5U4G to sag out the power section to give a softer sound as the order of the day. And Mesa's intent with this new amplifier series is to give you the tightest amplifier possible. So they just did away with them and we ha now have just a standard silicone diode rectification across the board. Now also a change for the Rectifier series is the Badlander 100 comes stock with EL34s in the power section, although of course you can switch it to 6L6s depending on your flavor. I have put 6L6s in my amplifier just because I prefer them. And also I think most of the demos and videos that you will see relating to this amplifier will be with EL34. So I thought I would just do something 
a little left of center, and I put 6L6s in the power section of my amplifier. <laughs> Now going back to the front panel, you will also notice a quarter inch input right below the guitar input for your foot switch. This uses the old style latching, simple yet effective foot switch that we're on and came with the original rectifiers. Uh, this uses a regular guitar cable into a regular foot switch that works with just about any simple amplifier like you know a Marshall, a Friedman, anything like that. Gone are the big, foot switches that have you know six buttons or more the roadster was crazy but no more proprietary uh seven pin din cable or anything like that if you want to switch channels with this amplifier you get any foot switch and any guitar cable and you plug right into the front i love that <laughs> Let's go ahead and move on to the back of the Badlander 100. Now, starting from the left, you will see some standard out speaker output jacks, but next to that, you have the Cab Clone IR circuitry built right into the amplifier. This has an impulse loader, and you have and can use different impulses for each channel of the amplifier. Now, it comes stock loaded with a bunch of official Mesa Boogie uh, impulse responses, but you can also load your own if you'd like via the USB connector on the back. In addition to that, there is also a headphone output and the level control also controls the send from the XLR jack if you wanna go to front of house or your own in-ear system as well. Very handy. <laughs> Now lastly, we have a simplified effects loop on the back. It is serial, not parallel, which is awesome, and it's on all the time. It's no longer switching in and out depending on the channels that you've selected. It's an effects loop that is on all the time, and if you wanna turn the given effect off, you simply turn the effect off. And it's very transparent and very clean sounding. So final thoughts, what do I think? Honestly, I would I would call this the best rectifier since the original two channel revision F rectifier. This is the modern amplifier that I think a lot of rectifier fans have wanted for gosh, over 20 years. This amplifier does not sound fizzy. It is extremely tight and the controls for the EQ are vastly, vastly updated. You know, with all of the rectifiers up until now, 
Uh, they definitely did something, but they were very general. Um, I would liken this EQ section to that of the Triple Crown or even something from the Mark series, like a Mark IV. Like, you can turn the mids up quite high and still have a usable tone as well as the low end. No more are you topped out with low end when you're at noon, like the original amplifiers. You have a usable sweep of low end on any of the channels and it's all very, very usable and tight and not fizzy and not boomy. It is very, very modern and I think this is just a wonderful, wonderful amplifier. I've had a blast playing it the last week I have had it and it's really played nice with every pedal I've used with it and every guitar I have plugged into it. Now this retails for $22.99, which considering the Cab Clone IR alone to buy is over $600. I think that's a great bargain if you're looking to tour and also play in a bedroom or gig on the weekends. Honestly, this can step down and handle everything you need it to do and more. I will link down below in the description if you would like more information on the Rectifier Badlander 100. And with that, you've been wonderful, I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. If you enjoyed the video that you just watched, please consider subscribing. It helps me help you, and then in turn, you get more stuff to watch. And also, I have all sorts of stuff down in the description of this video. Sweetwater giveaway stuff. There's all sorts of links to all sorts of things. So consider uh, checking that out as well, if you're gonna hang. But if you don't hang, all good. I still love you.